Okay, so here is our larger brain model. So if we can look at some of these smaller structures in a little bit more detail here. So this is cranial nerve number one. Okay, this is the olfactory nerve. Now the um, anterior portion or ventral portion of the olfactory nerve has a little bulbous part on it. And this is the olfactory bulb. Okay, so we have the olfactory bulb on the tip. This entire thing is olfactory nerve or cranial nerve number one. Okay. Here, this is the pituitary gland the pituitary gland, and we have cranial nerve number two coming off here, and this is the optical nerve, or sorry, this is the optic nerve, the optic nerve. And these optic nerves are going to cross at a point that we call the optic chiasm. This bump here, this is the pons, which is part of the brain stem, the pons, and then here is the medulla oblongata. Okay, down here, this is the cerebellum. Here in yellow, we have the temporal lobe, the temporal lobe. Here in the back, okay, so this is the cerebellum. This in green is the occipital lobe, the occipital lobe. In purple here, this is the parietal lobe, which includes the postcentral gyrus, which is the primary somatosensory cortex. Here is the central sulcus, the central sulcus, and the precentral gyrus is the primary motor cortex. Now including the primary motor cortex, from here traveling anteriorly, we have the frontal lobe. So this outer portion of the brain this is all cerebral cortex, cerebral cortex. The right and left hemispheres of the brain communicate through this structure, which is the corpus callosum, the corpus callosum. If we follow the corpus callosum around, then we will find ourselves at the fornix, the fornix. And the space between the fornix and the corpus callosum makes our lateral ventricle, our lateral ventricle. This structure here is the thalamus. And the hypothalamus is going to be here in the human brain. So thalamus and hypothalamus. So here is where we would have our, our third ventricle. Here is the pineal gland or pineal body. This is the cerebral aqueduct. It connects the third and fourth ventricles. And the fourth ventricle is going to be right here. Okay. This is the cerebellum. And the cerebellum has been cut open so that you can see these branch-like structures, which are the arbor vitae, the arbor vitae. 